Hey everyone, welcome back to Fatal Frame 5. We are gonna play a super exciting chapter today. I'm really excited for this one. If, if it is the one that I think it is, it's gonna start with a really cool like VHS a little bit. I think, I hope. I also realized I keep trying to like recap what we've done as best as I can, but at the start of every chapter, we kind of get a recap anyway. So I'll just jump into the game, read that, and then we just know where to go from there. So let's do that. So chapter five. From the writings he found in Ichiru Manor, Ren learns of a folklorist who lives on Mount Hikami, then sets out to the unfathomable forest to see if the rumors of a disappearing house are true. Um, yeah, so last time we played as Den, we found some files that were talking about. Uh, we found files from the innkeeper that said he was working together with a researcher who was looking into post-mortem photography. And he had a house in the forest. So now we're gonna try and find that house. See? Good recap. Thanks to the game. The Veiled House, Den. In the course of their investigation, Den and Duri learn of Keiji Watarai, folklorist who settled on Mount Hikami. His writings are certain to be a treasure trove of information about the mountain and its peculiar folklore. Den and Duri happen across a videotape that may just indicate the way to Watarai's residence. Are we gonna see said tape? Oh, not yet. Fuyuhi took her own life and Duri attempted suicide. The ghost of a shrine maiden appeared on both occasions. Yuri spoke of a black box that she found Haruka trapped in. Does the key to all these events lie in the mountain's dark past? A folklorist Keiji Watarai used to live there. His notes may shed some light on this mystery. The videotape Rui found is on the desk. It seems to be related to the folklorist. I should take a look at it. This desk? Yes. Videotape and some notes on the desk. They seem related to Mount Hikami. Yes, here we go. This tape is so fun. So is the doll shrine through the cave. We've been there. And then house. Hmm. How interesting. <laughs> so good. This kind of stuff is so good. I love fan footage stuff. <laughs> so I like, that's scary. I'm not touching that. Ooh. Are you just gonna leave that box? Probably for the best, actually. And he's not seeing it! I hate it! <laughs> so creepy. <gasps> that whisper said, You finally came. Lots of documents. That's what we want. Looks difficult.
There's an attic! <laughs> Report written in Dewey's handwriting. The Veiled House. The diary found at the old inn mentioned a folklorist who lived on Mount Hikami. I found more information on him, including his name in books on the occult. The folklorist Keiji Watarai went to the mountain due to his obsession with the mysteries of the sect of a sect living there. He then went missing, as mentioned in the diary, and rumors about what happened to him abound. They say that he didn't just die or go missing, but rather he stumbled onto something the mountain wanted to kept wanted kept hidden, and so his entire house was swallowed up by the mist. This is the origin of one of Mount Hikami's more recent stories of a haunted house. While the veracity of this is unclear, it looks I looked into the videotape be left I looked into a videotape left behind by someone who stumbled across this house. The video is apparently famous in occult circles. I contacted the publisher and received the following response. Dear Dewey, thank you for contacting us. The video you are looking for is no longer in print, but there are some copies in our warehouse. This video prompted a huge amount of feedback from customers. The tape was found near a river on Mount Hikami. It is unclear who filmed it. There are many sections too damaged by water to be usable, and so we took what was left and edited it together. The master copy of the video was confiscated by the police. They conducted a search of the mountain, but were unable to find who shot the film or even the house's location. Now that entering the unfathomable, unfathomable it's a hard word, forest is prohibited, we advise you not to look into this on your own. Koji Kakimoto, Sui Gensha Film Division. I believe the building visible at the start of the video is the Shrine of Dolls. After that, we see what seems to be a cave, but it's hard to make anything out. From the large number of books seen in the house, it's likely that it really is the former home of Keiji Watanai. Oh, phone call. Hojo desu. Hojo desu. This is our friend who went missing. He went to look for pictures before Hisoka did. する<笑> We found um, his missing person report in Hizoka's room. He was one of the cases. So then asked him to find him something on the mountain, but he never came back. So then he told Hisaka to go look for him or asked her. And then he was just still an open case. The Veiled House, from the Shrine of Dolls into a cave. This may be the same route Yuri took. I should start go by going there. Let's do it. But first, I gotta pick up something. Notes of Dewey's. Maybe she dropped them. I wonder if it's okay to read this. Mr. Hojo often cries out in his sleep. He won't tell me much, but it seems like he has a recurring dream about a ceremony from his childhood. As a young boy, Mr. Hojo said he spent a summer with relatives at the base of Mount Kagiroi. He's mentioning playing he's mentioned playing in an old house and in a shrine on the mountain, and some kind of festival he went to. Mr. Hojo doesn't talk about his past much, so what he has told me I remember clearly. Is he dreaming of that ceremony? I went to the festivals as a child. But all I remember is having a good time. 
It doesn't sound like the festival Mr. Hojo dreams about is any fun. He often cries, don't look at me, in his sleep. He's always had a hard time with people staring at him. He especially dislikes it when women look at him for too long. He won't even look at Miss Kurosawa or Miss Kozukata in the eye sometimes. He doesn't have that issue with me, though. Are the women he's dreaming about really that frightening? It's a little bit of a shame. It gets lost in translation, but... Um, in Japanese, you, draw, you can go a long time without saying he or she. Uh, you can just call them either by their name or just like the person. Um, so they kind of like leave it ambiguous for a really long time with the re, the re, whether she is man or female. And then after a certain point in the game, someone points out like, are you a he or a she? Um, so that completely gets lost in translation, unfortunately. Um, but we'll learn more about the motivations and feelings behind all of these actions later. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Do you really think he's still alive? Okay. Let's go in. I I still have that. I still have this particular rock. Looks like a person. It scares me for a little bit. Um I don't know why. It's like a little like because of that glint on top, like a face. It looks like something when you run by it. And I've had that since the very beginning, since I played it for the first time. Hey, no dolls. Excuse me? Where are the dolls at? Who let the dolls out? The door is being held shut by a powerful force. Well, I guess I'm not going that way. That's where we need to be, though. Maybe we can do something to open stuff up over here. Oh! Dre is being lured over. I really wish they had gone with a they them for Dre. That would have made so much sense. There she is again. Hanashkakenaide. <laughs> So much gets lost in translation. Um, funny thing is, in Japanese, Dewey actually doesn't say, I'm a girl, like the subtitles say. She just says, I, and then hesitates. <laughs> Let's go hunt some kids! What was that? Dewey, where did you go? Number of dolls lined up on the doll stand. Okay. Let's go search. Um, but yeah. So, most people know Onichan in Japanese means brother. Or like... Like someone... It's basically like big bro, but not doesn't have to actually be family. Um, 
So, Rui comes in and then Shiraigiku is like... Um, kind of like putting pressure on Rui for having kind of like an ambiguous appearance, but actually being a lady. And then she's just like, you're actually a girl, aren't you? And then Dewey's just like, I, I like, doesn't really want to go into it. Um, I see water through a hole in the passageway floor. Some of the dolls are missing from the shelf. They must have been washed away. Um... But oh, yeah, and then she just does the effigy thing, so... But that... In Japanese, when you play in Japanese, that's actually the first moment, that cutscene that we just had, that you're like, Oh, Dewey's not a boy. They could have gotten around it if they just did date them, but... That's just a minor... It's, it's really just a minor thing, like, I'm not trying to... In the closet, huh? I'm not trying to bash it or anything, like, it's it's complicated having to translate it and try and get as much information across in short little sub-sentences, you know. I'm just very opinionated when it comes to translating, because I have done some of it myself. It's a girl! Oh! Jesus! Fleeing child. Where are you going? Hmm. I got everything here already, didn't I? Oh! Oh, that's not fair. You can't even see that coming. Well, at least they only grab a tiny snippet of health. Nothing. <laughs> I got attacked over an empty drawer. Okay, let's just keep going. So we got the girl. I think there's one more in the back here. This is actually Dewey. <laughs> Dewey seems to be okay. I have to find the way to the veiled house. Yuri said there's an entrance to a cave below the doll display in the front shrine. Okay, so let me check. If we found her in here and we found one person in here we could maybe check this little closet and maybe something on this side not sure um, let's see if we go here maybe this closet left of us maybe Oh, it goes down here. Um. Oh, and there's no other way? Um. Yeah, that's not what I want. Let's go back. Oh. There went the boy. Oh, was that open? Oh, no. Just didn't load in. Yeah, I remember you, dude. You know what? I'm just gonna take pictures. <laughs> Too far away. It's tricky that I can't focus on anything. Too early. Uh, can't focus on anything. 
tricky. There you go. Now I can focus on him. Oh, that didn't count! Damn it! Oh, it did! It just still hit me. Yeah! Dude, how was I supposed to do anything about that? So close to me. Don't put your mask back on. Damn it. So when he has his mask on, you can't really focus on him. Can't focus on the box, but... Damn it, dude, you're so close. Yeah, back it up. Thank you. Okay. This mask is off. Now we can get him. Yes! Go, 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 go. Yes! Got him. I think he said like his body is being drained by the ri uh, by that water. Interesting that there weren't any subs for that. Um, yeah, you could see like water overflowing, and then he said that that was draining him, changing him. We'll find out more about what their purpose was later. Do you think we have to fight the girl again? Or is she gonna make an appearance? Yep. But she also really looks like the girl from his dream. Yeah. A mystery there. Is it still open? Oh, it is. Oh, well, let's go have a look, right? Look for a way to the abandoned house. Hmm. 
Do you know something? Definitely changed her being an effigy. Okay. Check out the door. Won't budge. Well, that's that. I think there was another door somewhere. Do you fit here? Oh, he does. How about this? The door is locked. Camera's reacting to it, though. Should I heal? Oh, shit. That's right here. Yeah, I should heal then. That's better. Um, this box? Finely decorated black wooden box. The lid is shut and I can't get it open. Okay. Behind the box, the ground drops off and the water is flowing down. The box is sealed shut and I can't open it. Oh, this one's a bit open though. Oh, this one. Oh! Partially open box submerged in the water. It looks like it's filled with dark water. Oh! Hey! Hello there! I think it's just her. So far so good. Oh, she's going under. This is so hard to do when it's not targeted. Do I have? Oh, I do have 61 film. Nice. Ah! Gosh, you're so close. So close. she gonna go? Oh, you gonna go for him? Her? Oh, I think I got it. Come here. Give me those feet. Oh, I can't do it. Damn it. Did that do it, though? Or is it this box? Hmm. Oh, it is that box. I had the right box, but it was just not the right thing. Oh shit, too early. Ah! Uh... Okay. Ooh, crawling. Oh, jeez. I need to heal. Oh, uh, wrong one. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. That should be good enough. Whew! Oh, one more. Oh, I was so ready. If you've been paying attention, which it's easy to miss, but 
that thing that she just quoted at the end, obviously it's also in Japanese, so I don't blame you. But that was the last part of the song that Fuyuhi was singing. Oh, drop the key. Nice. And if you also paid very close attention to what the ghost was wearing, it's a familiar looking knitted sweater. Heavy lattice doors locked. Iris plate key. Nice, we went through. So yeah, it's never explicitly said, uh, but that was Haruka. So it was kind of you kind of just have to put it together. But she she walked out, went back to the mountain, and just died in the spot that we saved her in, basically. Which is a shame. Oh, shit, they got me. I thought I let go in time. Motherfuckers. I hear breathing. Oh, I don't see anything. Really? Okay. Just making sure. Okay, let's go in. Ah, it is exactly the house from the video. Oop, something here. Let's go have a look. So the dude went back to the phone. What is it? Oh, hey dude. What's up? Three, four. Wait, did I already get him? <laughs> Annihilated him. <laughs> Three pictures is all it took to kill him. Oh, there's something to read here. Old notebook. Very elegant handwriting. Folklore's note. There's a peculiar custom in this country. It varies from region to region, but the root is the same. It is mysterious, yet somehow beautiful. In order to understand it, I traveled across the country before settling on this mountain. The beauty of the morning dew, the palpable heartbreak of the sun setting behind the mountain, and the grave and solemn night that envelops it. On the mountain, water itself is revered. But why? To try and understand this, I have made this mountain my home. Is there anything in here? Ooh! Wow! Thank you! Wait, what was there to check? Household altar has been enshrined at the top of the wall. The wood in the room is blackened, giving off an odd smell. Dude, that's gotta be mold. You shouldn't breathe in too much of this. I almost kind of wish that old television switched on, screen is blurred with static, I can't make anything out. I kind of wish that they were like, I want a game. Where it's like, they know they're gonna explore a haunted house. Um, but they also know that it's gonna be an old and like a moldy, probably asbestos kind of building. So then they like mask up or something before they go in. Like they they bring like certain equipment, the equipment that shows that they're prepared for it. But they never really do that. A phasmophobia is kind of like that. Like at least... Ooh. That's him! What did I? Yeah! Little mustache. At least in Phasmo, they bring equipment, you know. <laughs> oh! The phone! Damn it. 
カキさんですかこれは先生の見ていた写真と同じサカキうんうん Oh, it is that picture, yeah The Kazuya have come here because of it too I only now realize I should probably uh, take pictures with seven as much as I can. Oh, because you get a better rating at the end! Damn it, I missed it. Use three as a shield! She's ignoring her! <laughs> well, fuck. I got you. Go, 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 go. Tactical touch. Oh, I got the door instead. Well, I tried. Anything here? Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, dude. Well, I didn't even target, but I still got him. Damn, you're really going for it, huh? Too close, too close! Let me touch ya! And... Boop! Right on the snoot. Did you see that hand come by? I saw it at the- I was thinking about it, and I was- I saw it at the very last moment. Nice. I always love looking at these pictures. They give me, um... They give me siren vibes for some reason. Don't know why. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm drenched in water. I was gonna say, like, why doesn't he get, like, sexy chest showing when he's- when his chest is wet, but... It's a little bit sexy, I guess. Two memorial tablets and a Buddha statue on the altar. Okay. Well, let's go up. Photo is calling me. Transfixed. What the hell? Nice. Can we read something here? Ah. Oh. I got you. Old notebook on the shelf about postmodern photo photography. Postmodern photography is made its way over from the West along with the spread of the camera. When photography was still rare, images of the, the deceased helped the surviving family members deal with their grief. Postmodern photographs still exist in Japan. Use oh, the ones that still exist in Japan used the same methodology as their Western counterparts, but the significance seems to differ. Those taken here in the Mount Hikami region, especially, seem to embody a certain mel melancholic beauty. I believe these photos were the work of a scientist named Kunihiko Aso. There he is! First mention! Having researched photos from other areas as well, it seems that he was the one behind many of them. His surviving records indicate a determination to use photography to capture the soul. Seeing these strange and captivating photographs, I've become to believe that he had some degree of success in doing so. An old friend of mine used to call cameras lonely boxes. I'm not sure if he meant that the subject appears trapped alone in this dark box when viewed through the viewfinder, or that he looks through the viewfinder meant peering out through the, through the dark all alone. At any rate, I find those words have a certain resonance. The lonely box.
hear someone talking, but... About death on the mountain. The waters of this mountain are beautiful. A large volume of water flows from a lake at the summit, becoming rivers and waterfalls and enveloping the mountain in mist. Water covers everything. It is the source of the mountain's beauty, as well as its sense of mystery. According to local tradition, Mount Hikami is where one could die a proper death. It has long been considered a spiritual spot and the subject of much worship, making it a righteous destination for those seeking death. The Mount Hikami sect taught that, upon dying, people return to water. Here on the mountain, water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is then set to return to water upon death, rather than moving on to an afterlife. Those ready for death would gather at a mountain and return their lives to the water. Water connects everything. To look at this scenery, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place, a place fit for passing from this world. I'm glad I came here. People on this mountain have a yearning for death. That is to say, they have a yearning for water and a yearning for nature. Life and death are both connected to water. Ooh, set tape. How do we listen to that? Do we have anything on us? Where do we get the tape? Oh. That was also the first mention of pillars. Very important word for stuff coming up. Bookshelf in this room are packed with countless books. Must have been an archive. God, the water damage must have been horrible. Lost in thought. Notebook on the desk has, the desk has no dust on it. Someone was just writing it, maybe. It is said that human sacrifice was once practiced throughout the region. Rather than returning people to the water upon death, the ritual involved placing so-called pillars in special reliquaries and sending them to the water while still alive. It was the role of shrine maidens to become such pillars. They would take on the memories of the dying and thereafter return to water themselves. In doing so, it was believed that subjects would continue living on as pillars. So this is very similar to Fatal Frame 3, where the maidens become tattooed, and then once their bodies are full, they basically become... They have to go down into that cave to basically sleep with the pain. Um, this is kind of the same. It says that... Um, Ritual involves placing pillars in reliquaries, and then the shrine maidens take on memories of the dying and then return to the water. So they take their memories with them. In Japan, there was once a sect of Buddhist monks who would inter themselves in boxes buried underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to show they were still alive by ringing bells and chanting. This practice may be related. But what did the maidens who became pillars fear or hope to appease? There are various teachings in Japan about where the afterlife, also known as the netherworld or hereafter, is located. Some teachings say it is above the mountains or across the sea, where other claims, others claim it lies underground, within the very earth itself. Here on the mountain it is said to lie within the water, implying a close link between water and death. 
the pillars within the reliquaries would be in a place close to death, but would go on living. Perhaps it was the special reliquaries that allowed them to evade death and continue living, frozen in time. It is thought that perpetuating these pillars allowed those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed that proximity to death helped develop a resistance to it. Hmm. Oh, guess that one. What? You find something? She's looking at something. Uh, I need to go to the third tape. There it is. Human sacrifice. Mm. Very interesting. I love this bit of lore. Notebook. I saw the silhouette of a shrine maiden from within the mist that envelops the mountain. With great care, she made her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seemed so somehow unnatural. I've been told there are no more shrine maidens on the mountain now. Long ago, many maidens were murdered here. Perhaps they returned to the water. What would then imply? Would that then imply they are trapped within the mist? So Dewey was looking this way. God fucking damn it. You just had to do it, didn't you? Finally got the fucking item to show up. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. The ladder leads up to the attic, just like in the last part of the video. <laughs> I love this. Have a little look around. I hate that in movies. When they like stick up a camera and like turn the camera to look around, it's so scary. Have you guys seen Host? Oh, there he is. With a notebook though. Oh, <laughs> I was so ready. <laughs> Ghost left the notebook behind. Mount Hikami seems to have been both revered and feared as the mountain of death, where only those prepared to die may enter, and those who visited were never allowed to leave. Visitors to the mountain had to pass through the shrine grove at the foot of the mountain, where shrine maidens kept strict watch in allowing only the qualified, that is, the dying, to enter. So that was the, the inn, right? Because the inn was a converted shrine. Today, the shrine at this grove has been revealed as an inn. <laughs> Whose innkeeper kindly let me borrow records of the time period. The records from the shrine's final year list one individual who was able to leave the mountain alive. Kunihiko Aso! After taking his post-mortem photographs, it seems he was invited to the mountain to photograph the maidens. I've heard his research into the hereafter allowed him to, to develop a special camera. If I could see these photos of the Shrine Maidens taken with the special camera, I'm certain I could come closer to unraveling the myster mysteries of Mount Hikami. When invited to the mountain, it is said that he was allowed into a house visited only by a select few in individuals. If I were invited to the mountain, would I be able to reach this place too? I truly wish I could. Kunihiko Aso. Was Dr. Aso somehow involved in this? Mist was pouring into the room. That's not a good sign. I should get out of here. You okay, Dewey? I'm having a hard time. Should still check the door on the other side, though. Uh, 
Ah, broken. Damn it. Okay. Let's go this way then. Oh yeah, it's super misty in here now. I think we have to hurry. I think it's time for the house to move on. I think it comes and goes. There he is, the dude from the attic! Meh. Where is he? Got him. He's pretty strong. I'm gonna go 61. Uh, go beat your ass! Ooh. Oh, he's so close. Get him! Get him! Arr! Yes! So, I think... Yeah, this is Watarai that we just fought. So he was trying to reach a house that Aso was in. But Aso got out alive. He's so willingly going in there. <laughs> Never mind, he tried to leave, but he wasn't allowed to. Oh, left a note. On the way to the summit, I found a photo on a small path lined with spider lilies. The path seemed to head into the forest, but it has become overgrown and is unpassable. Could it lead to that mansion? The only inv that only the invited can find. It is different from other photographs. I can only describe it as being beautiful. It has a beauty and a sadness unlike the others I've seen. Was she alive? As soon as I thought how beautiful she was, I was bound. I heard whispers of love from the photograph. There were words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart has been captivated. Oh, set tape. Was that one of Keiji Watarai's memories? I have to get out of here. After I listen to this tape. <laughs> so this this tells us a lot like how do then saw that picture as well of the bride and then we heard which was will you end it with me and that's the same that what that i just said on the tape it's like you see the picture and then you hear the cursed words but that basically utters suicide um and he said that they they have a ritual that binds doomed men to pillars so basically you can see it as 
a shrine maiden has become a pillar, so she's been sacrificed, and she's like being a pillar holding up um, whatever they're trying to appease or protect. We don't know what it is yet. But then to make sure to strengthen the pillar, to make sure the pillar isn't lonely or weakens, they sometimes come like marry them even in death to a doomed man. So they come together in death. Oh god. It's the fireman. Come here, bitch! No, don't go invisible! <laughs> Shit. The door closed. Oh, I get I need to get them all. This is so hard. Back it up, back it up. Damn it. Oh, there. Yes, got him. He's a strong boy. Uh, never mind. That was half his health. Damn it. Oh, actually, I don't need the red. I can just... That's good. I can just take his picture and that'll count. Going for Dewey. Nice. Five combo. Okay, still got some health. There you go. That's actually it, I think. Okay, now I just have to... There he goes. Can't take a picture yet. What the? <laughs> he just ran off again, huh? <coughs> tall woman. It's me. You're so tall. Our first glimpse. The wooden shutter to the porch has come loose and I can see outside. Nothing but thick forest. Can't get out this way. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, a new box. There she is. She's so tough to fight. I'm gonna go 61. Shit, and it didn't even count. Run! Shit. I need to heal! Um, I'm not gonna get a great rating for this chapter. <laughs> oh, there it is! I want it! I want it! Oh! They get you? Oh, yes! Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys. This is a good one. Oh. Locked into the box and thrown down into the water. I think... I think her box opening up immediately Underwater means that she was just a very weak pillar. I mean, obviously, she clearly didn't want to go in there either, so... So yeah, she was supposed to be sacrificed, but... She was like, I ain't having it.
Yeah, it was disappearing. So cool. The house just comes and goes where it wants. <laughs> he said Kieta. It disappeared. <laughs> I don't know why the subs would go for huh. It might also be just dependent on the voice acting. Like maybe the English voice actor just goes huh. Because. Yeah, that's probably it. Because if we say it disappeared, your mouth makes certain. certain um, shapes. Um, because Kieta, he barely moved his lips, so I guess they couldn't really match that. That's probably why. Bonus points! Might as well use the cable card. Oh, really? I was just gonna be like, that doesn't work. Let's just take the forest path. Never mind then. I will go up here. Right. Oh, what does it say? Shirazu no mori mai. Shirazu no. So Shirazu. Shirazu forest? There's someone in the car. If we look through the camera, maybe it's some other time. Den and Dewey set out to find the folklore's house, relying on clues from a video recording. As they passed the shrine of dolls, <laughs> the shrine of shrine, a shrine of dials. The white-haired girl from Nen's dreams appeared. Uh, she asked why he didn't bring her token and vanished. Then Andui arrived at the veiled house where they discovered several of Keiji Watarai's writings on the customs and beliefs surrounding Mount Hikami. They escaped the house only to see it vanish in a thick veil of mist. I really like, I, I hate to say it, but I really like these little recaps. Oh, I still got an A rank. Nice. I keep going over it because, of course, I've played these games many times and I'm always like going through the older ones as well for the marathon. I was always like, I hope I recapped like the most important points properly that you need to know going on into the story. But this game then always is like, yeah, these are the most important points that you need to remember from the last chapter. And now at the end, it recaps being like, these are the new points of information that you need to remember, which is why I like it. It's good. It's a very clear. It really like feeds the in story bit by bit and then it's like, do you remember that? <laughs> remember that. Next chapter is going to be interesting because it says find Miyu Hinasaki. So we're going to finally know more about the Hinasakis. My favorite characters. It's going to be super awesome. So yeah, that was I, that was legit. It's one of my favorite cha chapters in the game because it's a haunted house that has like this cool videotape of just someone going through it and then like hidden ghosts around the corner and stuff. Um, I really like the atmosphere it has going on for that chapter. It's really good. I love it. Plus, this is the first chapter where you really got more lore on like the pillars and how it works and what kind of rituals there are. So we're finally like getting into the story now and what it's all about. So I'm excited to show you guys the next chapter and dive deeper into that. I think the next one is going to be the super long one. Yeah, next chapter, chapter six is 90 minutes long if I'm quick. Next episode is going to be like movie length. So I'm excited to show you guys. It's a beautiful level. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to show you guys, but I'll have to wait a little bit. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon with the next part.